One of the gaps that needs to be filled is to be sure homeowners understand when they add energy storage, they now become their own mini power plant, right? Solar generating juice during the day, energy storage, obviously holding it. That gives them a tremendous amount of energy independence and really energy insurance too, having that energy when generation capacity as well as dispatch capacity when the grid's down. Welcome to the Suncast Media Zone, live here at NABCEP Conference 2024. The Media Zone is brought to you by LG ESS. I'm actually joined by Jim Brown, the Senior National Sales Manager from LG Energy Storage Systems, to talk about AC coupled systems. Jim, it's great to see you again. Nico, real pleasure to see you too. Thanks for having us on today. Yeah, you bet. Well, I want to kind of kick it off actually with a question that I'm sure you get asked a fair amount. Is this the same LG that I, that I bought my washing machine or my refrigerator from? Yeah, fair comment. We, <laughs> we do get that question a lot. LG, who is LG? And yeah. we, actually, a couple of us in that energy storage space. So, yeah. Yeah, appreciate the question. First and foremost, LG Electronics is one component of the global LG Corporation. So there, there's a couple of main silos, if you will, in the company. LG Electronics is the main, though, and you're right. That home appliance, home electronics, laptops, displays, um, HVAC is a huge part of the business too. Yeah. Only for the home, you know, there's a, a real focus. And as we're talking about energy storage, there's a real focus on reducing the burden on the grid. Right. Enter high efficiency, you know, low energy burden heating and cooling, heat pumps. Oh, yeah. That technology is coming fast and furious. Yep. I have a LG mini split. And uh, that thing really works super well. Sure. So that, exactly the same company. And so if you uh, go to LG.com and actually look at the footer of the website, you mm -hmm. can see all of the areas, all the product areas that LG Electronics is involved in. Yeah. We go way beyond just energy storage. Yep. Well, a lot of folks are familiar with LG Chem and the storage side of sure. the business. And a few years ago, uh, LG brought the LG Energy Storage System to the U.S. market. And it is an AC coupled system. I think one of the things that's interesting to differentiate is there's kind of two different ways that you can attach storage, which is rapidly becoming the most talked about product for installers in, in homes with homeowners. And that is on a DC coupled side and the AC coupled side. Why don't you help differentiate a little bit the DC coupled versus AC coupled conversation? And uh, my understanding is that LG ESS is an AC coupled system. We'll talk a little bit more about that, the pros and efficiencies of that in this discussion. But just for the installers that are maybe trying to wrap their head around the two different options that homeowners might have. Sure. Appreciate the comment about specifically about LG Chem too. That I think that's an important distinction. LG Chem is an important part of the business. Mm -hmm. they, they contribute a lot to the global LG uh, holding company. Yeah. Um, and they, in fact, gave their battery business its own identity. And they're now known as LG Energy Solutions. So that that product was a battery. Yeah. Everybody knows that name. It's, yep. it's a resi battery. And so that is a nice <coughs> entrance to the DC coupled subject matter. You know, right. it's a battery that required an inverter pairing and uh, was DC coupled for sure. You mentioned something else uh, regarding the AC coupled solution by LG Electronics. It's called the Home 8. It's new to the U.S. market, but it's actually not a new system by okay. LG Electronics. It was introduced in Europe in 2016. No way. AC that far back. Coupled, AC coupled with the two main parts, the, yeah. the, the gateway, if you will, or the MID, as well as the battery, uh, along with the PCS, the BMS, and, mm -hmm. and the battery. So it's, the system was introduced in 2016, and then the Home 8 came to the U.S. electrical grid in May of 2022. Mm -hmm. All right. So being AC coupled, to speak directly to your question, makes it super easy for installers to deploy this energy storage system. Again, called the Home 8. We can add the Home 8 to existing solar yeah. because all we want is the AC output from that solar inverter. Or, quite honestly, and as policy continues to adjust across the country, sometimes uh, energy storage is used for rate arbitrage. And, you know, California is leading the way with that application. And some homeowners are adding energy storage only yeah. without solar, yep. just to take advantage of those time of use rates and, and the grid arbitrage economics. Yeah, it's interesting. We were discussing a bit that um, it, while it is AC coupled and most often connected between the inverter and the homeowner's distribution panel, it could in fact just be connected to any uh, circuit breaker on the distribution panel, correct? So true. Yeah. Yep, I think that's, a, that's certainly one um, uh, differentiator for AC coupled. Is it a safer product or a faster product to install on the AC coupled side? From an installation standpoint, we have tremendous feedback from our installer partners in the field 
uh, again, being AC coupled, doing proper site survey and preparation. Mm -hmm. As you'll see at the LG Electronics booth later today, we provide a tremendous amount of space in the smart energy box, the gateway, the MID, if you will, yeah. for managing conductors. That's one of the biggest complaints out there with other systems that, you know, conductors aren't small. And especially in colder weather, sometimes they're hard to manipulate through those small spaces. So sure. easy to install by virtue of the space we provide for managing conductors. And then the homemade itself, floor mounted, wall supported, very easy to apply. In terms of the the installer partner deployment, is there anything unique about the way that you go as a, as a national sales manager, the way you've gone about building the supply chain for LG ESS here in North America? For sure, we're leveraging our distributor partnerships. Mm -hmm. You know, these guys have their finger on the pulse. They they are already serving the larger market through a multitude of products and balance of systems. So no doubt uh, through distribution is the primary path to market. But, you know, LG Electronics is committed to being a, a good and better manufacturing partner. So we absolutely go directly to the installers, mm -hmm. work with those relationships, do the teaching, training, coaching, installation support. LG Electronics also deployed a <clears throat> LG Pro program to yeah. further support our installer partners. Uh, the Pro Portal is chock full of resources, sales and marketing, technical mm -hmm. training, all the documentation they might need. Another question that I hear folks talking about from the installer side, that is homeowners don't think about their solar inverter or their solar battery. For them, it's just a solar system. And then they hear that well, I can add batteries. Most homeowners will think, well, batteries mean that I can now have my power when the electric, when the power goes off, right? Mm -hmm. Do you find that homeowners and installers by extension are thinking about battery storage systems separately from solar? And, and, and if so, how does compatibility work? You know, homeowners aren't necessarily thinking I've got a uh, to use one brand, an SMA inverter, right? They're sure. thinking, well, I've got a solar system and now I want to add batteries. So it seems to me like AC coupled batteries are more adaptable to both just um, home attachment without solar, but attachment to any type of solar array. Yeah, fair fair comment. And, and I do believe that is one unmet need in the industry in terms of education. Homeowners many times are surprised when the grid goes down <laughs> and yeah. their solar doesn't operate. Yeah. They're, they're just surprised. Either they don't remember the conversation or, you know, their expectations have changed. And so uh, when they say, hey, I have a solar system, <clears throat> now I want to add a battery. Most, and there is some market data that suggests homeowners want to add a battery for backup power. Right. I want energy when the power when the goes out. Down, yep. right? I, want, I want my TV on, my lights on, my refrigerator running, around, you know, variety of other appliances, if you will. But one of the gaps that needs to be filled is to be sure homeowners understand when they add energy storage, they now become their own mini power plant, right? Solar generating juice during the day, energy storage, obviously holding it and being able to dispatch at night when the grid's down, that gives them a tremendous amount of energy independence yeah. and, and really energy insurance too having that energy when uh, generation capacity as well as dispatch capacity when the grid's down. And the product uh, in particular, the LG ESS Homemate uh, is compatible with, I would presume, every major inverter out in the market. Yeah, that's the second part of it. Uh, appreciate you bringing that that's back. Right. Uh, for sure, the Homemate being AC coupled is 100% inverter agnostic, mm -hmm. okay? Now, it's important to understand the legacy inversion mm -hmm. that's going on with the solar, and here's why. Is a unique feature of the home eight called frequency watt control. So when the grid's down, there's no place to export excess power. Right. All right. The home eight operates such as uh, solar is primary, battery would be secondary. But let's say the home load isn't sufficient to use all of the solar in addition to whatever solar might be charging the battery. There's no place for that solar to go. So the home eight has a cool feature that will shift the frequency and reduce the output of the solar hmm. to max the load. Home load plus battery charging. Oh, cool. It's a very cool feature. What that means is home eight will not turn off the solar. Yeah. We're not cycling the solar during the day. We're maximizing the use of solar production. Yeah. I love that feature, but the solar inverter must be frequency watt capable. capable. 
And that has to do with the grid profile. Got it. So, so that's definitely that something that you'll want to be yeah. looking yeah. for in a vendor. Of course. Yeah. Of course. I mean, I can tell you for sure from experience in Latin America, this is something that is very important in places like Jamaica, where you are actually penalized for exporting to the grid oh. in any in any situation. You're not you're not allowed to export to the grid. So okay. yeah. While this is certainly a, a, a nice to have feature in certain American markets, it's a must have feature outside of the US market. Okay, very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Jim, if folks wanted to reach out and learn more about the LG product, how would they do, do that? Yeah, for a great question. No doubt LG.com is a, is a labyrinth of web pages. So you can absolutely find product information there. But quite frankly, since you and I are sitting here talking, I invite any of your audience to reach out to me directly and I'll mm -hmm. make sure they get to the right spot. So that would be email is a great way to touch base jim.brown at lge.com. That'd be a great way to do it. Um, I'll also cite the website. Specifically, it's lg.com forward slash ESS. 